Man, bummer. What? Well, with the lockdown, all the thrift stores are closed. Are you going through withdrawals or something? No, because you know what? The auction was still running and I got some stuff. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! week but we'll see what's in there this is the best part of the week Christmas every week oh, oh, oh. let me guess I can guess DVDs jeans maybe some shoes ready for the uh, the avalanche yeah holy Holy moly. Wait, what's this big thing? I have no idea what that is. Oh, floor mats. Well, I might as well start with that, eh? Get yeah. that out of the way. Okay, I remember those. These are... Toyota Corolla. Brand new floor mats from a Toyota Corolla. And that includes the front and the rear mats. Great shape. These are good. I think I paid two bucks for these. And uh, I've seen them sell for quite a bit more. So that's awesome. Yeah. Great. So floor mats are always good, especially if you can get them brand new. Pick them up. I'll just throw that right here for now. Okay, this is a pair of Crocs medical apparel, extra large scrub pants. A really nice condition and Crocs are always a good brand, so that was a good, I think these will sell pretty good. Oh yeah, I've never heard, I, I thought they only made shoes. Yeah, me or too. Or like sandals. Oh, well, we're learning lots of different stuff all things. the time. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, it looks like we got bags within bags here, so. Next, I thought it was a Lulu, because it has a Lulu logo, but it says, maybe it's a type of Lulu, I'm not really sure. Uh, what does it say? Moladana? It might be like a special edition one? Or? I think it might because it has the, the Lulu uh, zipper thing. It has... Oh, what's on the back? Oh, that's kind of oh, cool. Oh, hold it right up. That's really that's pretty. Neat. Yeah, it has a Lulu thing there. What does that say? It has a Lulu um, right here. I don't know, hold up to the camera maybe. Does anybody know anything about these? Cause, uh, can you guys see this? I don't know, I can't read that. It says Muladara. Muladara. Yeah, and then it has some other little words down here. I think it's like uh, like a Zen thing, because it's it says one part says breathe in, breathe out. I am, I am, I am. Repeat this mantra. So but it's in excellent condition. Yeah, I think it must it may be in a special edition. Or it could be a knockoff, but all signs point to it being a special edition to me. If it's a knockoff, it's a really good one. It's a really good knockoff. That's so. good quality stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. It's pretty. Right on. So that's a good one. Um, you want to go through these? Yeah. This is Franklin. Okay. So, Stefan... I th you got two lots of toys, I think. I did, yeah. I watched a video... Uh, recently with uh what's his name it's zombie thrift hunter or the zombie bargain hunter if you get a chance to watch his channel if you sell plush at all he's awesome like he knows everything about plush i think he sells thousands and thousands a week um yeah and that's all he sells is plush he sells other toys but mostly plush and he's He's awesome. Like, if you want to find out anything, watch him. Okay, so... I don't know if this is both lots in one. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is Franklin. Where's he from? He he's, has his own thing, yeah, I think. He has a kid's TV show. It's a cartoon. And he's really cute. Yeah. He's got his shell, like, on, like, a backpack. So 
so that's cute. This one is a pound puppy. He's got his little collar on. I remember pound puppies from when I was younger, but uh, I haven't really seen them lately, but I'm sure that they are selling. And this is just a Thai uh, beanie baby that we might lot it up or we don't, I don't know. They're not worth a lot. No. This is a My Little Pony. It's kind of apple. So this, like a lot of these smaller ones, they have to be lotted up because they're not worth a lot. Like this little guy. And this little guy. That's oh, a tie. I, yeah, I remember that a lot. Like I, I got it because there was a Barney in there. Yeah. And I picked up the lot just to get the Barney. Yeah, so this is a Barney. And they're selling for pretty good money. So. Yeah, like 15, 20, if not even more on some of them. Yeah. Like, like a, the rest, like they're mostly Thai Beanie Babies. Like if you lot them up, you might get 20 bucks. And I have no idea what this thing is. Dogs um, might like it. And this is another little My Little Pony. And these are two Thai kids. Paula Flapper Tash. That's Beanie Baby. And ru get yeah. Rusty. No, I'm not seeing these, they're kind of cute. And this is just a dinosaur, I don't think he's really special or anything, but. But dinosaurs are good. Remember he said, pick up dinosaurs whenever you can. Yeah, kids love dinosaurs. So there you go. Yeah, I like dinosaurs. <laughs> so here we have, and it's from Warner Brothers, a little Tweety, Tweety Word. So that's probably a good uh, buy. Yeah, it's better than the last Tweety we got. Which oh, was, yeah. I think that one was one of the ones you win from those games where you pay two dollars and the claw comes down and grabs it. Like a fake uh, Tweety. Yeah, so that's a, that's a real Tweety. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just put this all in a bundle up here? Yeah. Stefan bought a bunch of DVDs. Yeah, they're all action movies, comedies. Uh, yeah. Whatever. I always bid, like, the lowest I can bid, the minimum bid, is $1.49. And for some reason, I win them all. So I got a stack, like, this big of DVDs that I now have to list. And, um... But you I, put them in bundles, and we've sold a Yeah, bunch. every time I say they don't sell and I want to just get rid of them, we end up having a sale uh, five minutes later. But so, anyways, when I get time, I'll, I'll list them all. Or... Those famous last words, right? This summer, we're going to have a huge yard sale. And we can sell them in the yard sale for a dollar each or whatever. We'll still make our money back. Oh, yeah. So this one hasn't been shown yet. Okay, here it is. inside but that's kind of normal with Lulu's and people don't really seem to mind that for some reason because it, it, like, well you can depill them right it, yeah we have that tool that we have that, yeah we have like a little shaver thing so we can depill them but actually this one it's got a big rip right here oh is it that is still you just disclose it and one here what do you think I think it needs to go to donation donation okay so, you can do this other. This oh, is the this, second lot of toys. Look at this thing. This is this looks handmade. And it's octopus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Yeah, it's a you know biologically but, accurate. But the, our dogs love the knitted ones, and they don't tear them apart. So this one is going to the dogs. Check it out, another Barney. <laughs> it looks identical as the last one. That's good. The tag's a little afraid on it, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, Barney's always cool. Okay. Look. Nope, this one's bigger, actually. I am so excited because if you've watched any of our videos, I didn't know what this was. Did you know what this was when you bid on it? I have no idea what that is. It is a Build-A-Bear. I love Build-A-Bears and they sell so well. 
So you really bought that for just the, uh, yes, you can have that. Um, you bought this lot really for the Barney, right? Yes. Yeah. Boy, it's a Build-A-Bear. Okay, he does, no, okay. Angus doesn't want the one that I gave him. He wants this one, but he's not getting it. And then there's a couple little pie. This one actually is a mini something. It's from Wild Republic. It has a price tag on for $10. It's a mount, mountain lion. Um, so we could maybe sell this. It's brand new and it's really soft. It looks nice. Very cool. Like this is a tie. This is a tie. Check this one out though. This is a squeeze, squeeze a moles. But it's like a stress ball. It's like really cool. It's like, Can I? squeeze the thing. Well, I know I need this when you're driving. Oh, yeah? Really? Yes. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll forget I even heard that. Okay, oh, fine. Yeah, I'll have fine. to look this guy up because. This is Shopkins. It's a fry. And this is just a tie. And then this guy, or girl, her name is Penny. And I don't really know. Oh, she's from the Disney store, so she must be a part of the 101 Dalmatians, so that's probably going to sell, too. Cool. Did, and you, did you really complain about my driving? Oh, I'm a great driver. Anyways. No. Oh, it's just awkward. All right. Here's the other bag. Let's do it all over again. This one's about the same size as the other one. more fun this way. All right, so we'll just quickly go through this, which is more DVDs. Like, how many did you buy? I don't remember. Holy but lots. Smokes. Okay, I'm really interested in this one because there's like... Little... What is that? <laughs> oh my goodness. Sometimes I worry about the stuff that we're buying now. Oh, it's a little, um, this was, would be Anna from, what, oh, what's that movie? Frozen? Frozen, yes. I don't remember you get, I thought you got two lots. That's weird. Okay. I would think this is Anna from Frozen with her fancy dress on. Or it's no. a doll of some sort. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure it out. Lot it up. Yep. Well, I would say it is, because this one looks like Elsa, which is her sister. There was some clothes in there. I don't know what this is. Oh, I don't know, because there, there's a little crown, maybe. Yep. And, and maybe these are clothes for that. Right on. And oh yeah, that lot had like a bunch of accessories with it. Yes. That's what it is. Okay. This is a bolo for us. If you don't know what it is, it's a La La Loopsie. And we pick these up every chance we get because they I, sell really well for us. And there's just so many different ones. Like and that one you can use to mop the floor too. <laughs> no. It's just got really nice hair. Very, I feel it. It's awesome. Yeah. So, Lala Loopsy. Awesome. Very cool. This just get into anything. I got a pair of jeans. <laughs> All right. These are Maurice. Maurice's or Maurice. Maurice. Um, yeah, just a pair of common straight leg or boot cut. Black jeans. Always a good sell. I love listing jeans. They take a bit of time. You got to take a lot of pictures, a lot of measurements. But once they're listed, they're, um, they usually sell and they are super easy to ship. You just put them in a poly, ship them off. And we're, we usually make $15 to $25 a pair. Per pair. Profit. And That's how, after everything's said and done. That's and profit. how many do we have listed right now on eBay? Well over 300, I think. We're, <laughs> we're, we're closing in on 300. Yeah. 301. Jeans are a bolo for sure. But just certain kinds, of course. Okay, so this 
is a really pretty bra. I don't know the brand. It's Jillian and O'Malley. Um, but it's a, it's a 38C, but it's really pretty. So posh, this will probably sell faster on posh. Um, but yeah, bras sell for us on posh. So that's, that's awesome. Awesome. All right, I got a pair of jeans again. So these are guest jeans. Nice. I'll check the zipper. But they look vintage. Um, guest jeans, I wasn't aware, but they go pretty good, especially the vintage ones. And um, I was told to look for that little triangle on the pocket, which is really good. So it's a pair of women's guest jeans. They look like skinny jeans, but uh, really good condition. So that's another 20 bucks right there. And I have a pair of Maurice's jeans. They remind me a lot of silver jeans just uh, because of the pockets. And these are new with tags. Um, they are a 12, size 12 short, mid-rise, slim boot. And the tag says they are $34. So anytime you can get anything new with tags, it's good. Awesome. And another pair of jeans. Let's get them all over with now. Uh, these are really stretchy. Really distressed. Distressed, which is really cool. Yeah. And they are Maurice's again, but they have... Oh, they are really, really distressed. Almost to the point of destroyed, I guess. Um, yeah. You call them destroyed on eBay. You list them a pair of jeans as destroyed when they're obviously close to being destroyed, but, but people I... buy them for good money yeah because it is it's hard to get them to look like that without wearing them for a long time you can't really do that um, there must be some technique to do it on new pairs to make them look like this but I think only time is the best way to get them to look like this. or so. they come like this they make them like this in the factory but yeah. I don't know I I really love this cuff yeah very cool okay so the next thing I have is a pair of pants of some sort Suko jeans, S-U-K-O. I'm not really familiar with that. I think we have a couple pairs of them already. Oh, um, yeah. I'm not sure, but they 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 look like silvers almost. Maybe like some sort of a copy. I don't, I don't know. Well, there is sort of uh, Suki or something. That oh, are that's right. Jeans. Yeah, that's that's what I'm thinking of. These are just black. Or is that like a navy blue? Maybe. That uh, looks blue. Yeah, in, it's in the a navy here. blue. Yeah, it's a dark blue. Yeah. Size eight. They're pretty linty, but that's fine because we have a lint brush and we just, I mean, we don't ship stuff, but it looks like that. But we'll see about those. And in this bag, another pair of jeans, which are guest jeans again, size nice. 28 women's jeans. Um, not sure if these are vintage at all or... They don't, do they have the triangle? They're definitely low rise. Uh, boot cut jeans with a little bit of dis distress at the bottom on the cuff, but they are you know, a dark wash, dark blue, great pair of jeans. Definitely going to sell as soon as the right buyer comes along. That's another 25 bucks in our pocket. Okay, so here I have a pair of Aeropostal Chelsea boot cut low rise slim fit, size 9, and 10, 9 to 10 short, new with tags, and this tag says $42.50. And these, I like these. Uh, these are nice. They're just, uh, just the way the denim goes. It's really kind of, kind of cool. I think it's nice. Um, and then the back, it's just the back there. But these are a really nice pair of jeans. And I know our postal is a mall brand, but they do sell. Like forty two fifty for a pair. Well, of jeans. last I checked, the mall is always packed. Yes. Not so much lately, but when things were normal and they will get back to normal again soon, the malls are always packed. So people buy the, that stuff, right? Yeah. So don't ever be thinking that you can't sell mall brands or Walmart stuff or uh, common store items because people do buy it. Uh, I mean. They're, they're called mass market items for a reason because lots of people buy it. Yeah, we kind of do stay away from Walmart, but other mall brands, Susie Shear, Reitman's, Aeropostale, they're usually pretty good. North Face, hoodie, 
pink woman's looks in really good condition. I don't think so. No? Pretty. Oh, yeah, you're Oh, right. yeah, it's really pilly. Pilly. And our little razor thing can't. Donation. Okay. I think I know what's in here. This was certainly a I thought for lush sure you center. bought only two lots of... I don't know, man. There's a lot of plush in here. Okay. Oh. Take a guess, everybody. Build a bear. Build a bear, yeah. Although that's a rabbit. He's Would a... that be build a rabbit? No, they all they call them all build a bears. He's so cute. He's so soft. And I love build a bears. Awesome. And this guy, guess what he is? <laughs> He's a build a bear too. Ooh, sorry about that. Come back here. And he's got a Echo brand t-shirt on and camo pants. And he's got a little camo hat. Looks like a soldier. Like a, but a, looks like a construction hat. Yeah. Anyway. And cool. wearing an Echo shirt. But he is so soft and he's so cute. Nice. And this is a Walt Disney Parks authentic original. I'm not sure where he comes from, what show he's from, or what he's movie kinda, he's from. He's a bear of some sort. He's kind of dirty, but... Oh, yeah. no, that's... Uh, Plus, you can run him right in the washing machine. Just don't put him in a dryer dry, let him air dry. But you put him yeah. in a washing machine, they'll come out brand new. Yeah, he just looks dirty to me, but it's just the way the fabric is here that it's uh, like a suede fabric, so it just kind of goes like that. Yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, maybe he's like from Monsters, Inc. or something. I don't know. Really I'm not sure. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. And this guy. Tigger. What's, how does that go? The wonderful, well, wonderful thing about Tiggers is Tigger's a wonderful thing. Yeah. Or bouncy, bouncy, flouncy, bouncy. Yeah, so this is actually our third Tigger. <laughs> I love so, Tigger. Tigger's good. Tigger's awesome. Okay, there's this bag here. Oh, here we go. Another bag. And guess what's in here? Oh my goodness. Papa Smurf. And what is this? Smurfette. Smurfette, and it's a real Smurf. I had these when I was younger, and these are old. Well, not that I'm saying I'm old, but. <laughs> Uh, I don't see a date. Do you see a date? Nope. Uh, 2008. So they're not that old, but they're definitely a replica. No, oh, they're Smurfs. They're real Smurf. There's something in there, so it's one of those that makes uh, music or talks or whatever. I will figure it out. Uh, battery thing. Awesome. Okay, and then this... I don't... This little Tigger. Another Tigger. I don't get it. It's, oh, it's a book. Oh, he's got a little book around him. I see. Okay. Oh, is it a puppet? No. He's just holding us book. Oh, I got it. So it's a... It's but a, it, it's authentic. It's a... It's a plush book. Look at the dogs, eh? They're going crazy. It's a... I saw a Disney on it, so... Yeah, he's cute. And this is... I have no idea. Well, he's probably from some show or something. He doesn't have a tag, though, eh? Oh, uh, it does have a small tag, but it's like a green one of him in there so i don't know we'll do a google lens can i have that one i don't know what that is okay and this is one of my bowls as well it is a care bear rainbow bear i'd say he's in really good shape he's really cute i don't know what these guys are i don't either but they might go with that other this other weird thing here this one oh kid craft with a k yeah, Kid Craft. Uh, maybe it's some place where they make, like a Build-A-Bear copy place where they make, uh, I don't know, these weird I don't, I don't know about, but this one has this, this tag. And then this guy has the same tag. So whatever they are, they're together. So we'll just do a Google Lens and figure it out. But this one doesn't go with those Kid's Craft, so. Very cool. Two little bags left. That is it. Okay, so this bag is all stuff that I got, which is probably a lot of stuff for me. The summer is coming and, you know, I need stuff.
Build a bear. And another build a bear. He gets a build a bear. I don't see the B A B W. It's on a paw usually, right? Yeah. He's got, she's got clothes on that some. Um, Maybe they just said build a bear. I don't know. Maybe it's. They're not always a hundred percent accurate in their descriptions. No, it does. But it looks kind of cool. Oh, it does. Oh, right. Build a bear workshop. They're just so soft. And she has a Trolls little pajama set that says hug time. So cute. And then there's some clothes. Little clothes that went with her. That looks like Halloween-like. Like a little Halloween dress. So cute. And a, a little sparkly fun dress. All right, I get to go to my go-to here. A pair of jeans, uh, Levi's, 550s, big, big size, big and tall. And if and, you um, watched yep. our videos, Levi's are probably our top seller of jeans. Levi's red tab, and they look fairly vintage. Uh, they look like relaxed fit, straight leg. Bigger size, I can't see the size, it's usually under here. Doesn't say. But I'll look on the tag. A good solid pair of jeans. Alright, next up we have. Oh, I bought this for myself. It's not a really big name brand or anything. It's a pantsuit. Which I think That's nice. Is. Yeah, it's really nice. I've never seen you wear anything like that before. No. I'm evolving cool. into That is very cool. Thank very you. proud of you. Proud of me that I changed. Yeah, you're evolving. Oh. Silver jeans. I, I meant that. In the I know. Um, silver jeans. Again, low rise Tuesday jeans. Very, uh, very good quality. A little bit of distress on the cuff, but they are in good shape. People really like silver jeans, and uh, they sell almost within a, a few days from when we list them. As long as you list them at a good price. They will sell almost every time. So if you see silver jeans, pick them up. Yeah, because I think actually they tie as our number one um, selling jeans. Oh, that was from that was mine too. That's yours. I'll let you get. Okay, this is one of mine as well because it's a mall brand. It's it's okay. It's not great, but it's little uh, a little romper. Well, I think you would look amazing in it. Oh, thanks. It's really cute. I think all this stuff is probably yours. Right? Yeah, I think this is mine too. It is. I don't even know. Oh, it's not a. It's not a big brand, but it's also another pantsuit. Very cool. I know I'm gonna be a whole new person. Don't change too much. I just changed my clothes. I'm okay. All right. Uh, these are... Oh, I bought those too. Okay. Those aren't for me though. I'll just open the bag so you go through the descriptions. Okay. So these are Buffalo jeans, size 36. Buffalo by David... Bitten. Bitten. No. <laughs> not Britain. Not to be confused with Britain. Okay. These probably have to go because... Oh, wow. Look at that. No, that's actually kind of cool. Can I be so? I don't know. I don't Show know. Show it up to the camera. They got a big rip. Somebody blew out the bottom. I don't know. Somebody sat on something that they shouldn't have and a nail or something and ripped them up. That's too bad. These yeah. are nice pants. And I know they could probably be patched up and all that, but we don't have the time right now for that stuff. Well, and we're not so going to sell we will, it. Like, you know, we'll we, donate it to somebody. Who will fix them? Because I think guys wear like boxers, like cool little boxers, and then you know a little bit shows through, and they like that. But no, I bought these two. These aren't for me. Uh, I thought they said Dockers. Okay, this one's a, a Dockers. It's size eight. They're little capris, and I know um, Dockers, like from when we were. A few yeah, years ago, or really, Sears or I, I don't know, but 
They look really good, and actually... I think they were really cool at one point, and then they went yeah. out of being cool, and then they came back as being cool. They're, they go in and out like that. Well, these ones are that say that they're benefiting the Susan G. Komen for the cure, so it's for breast cancer, so that's really, really good. But they're really cute. And these are Atlanta Sport, size 8. I'm not really sure about these. We'll have to look them up. But they're a little wrinkly. But they have nice pockets. They might... Uh... <gasps> oh, oh. I bought this for myself because... Why? Everybody loves a tie-dye. Wear that in my next video.